What is it about film that I find so compelling? Why am I drawn to this medium of creation, almost as if possessed, and shun every other form of artistic expression? Because film is the amalgamation of all other art forms. It blends the descriptive and detailed nature of books with the flowing non-expository and perfectly paced storytelling of music. It also uses the visual majesty of painting, but adds what is sorely lacking from all these expressions of the soul. Movement. Although very few films manage to capture that intangible quality of perfectly blending every other art form, some examples would be Jaws, Mad Max Fury Road, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and Tremors. When that perfection is reached, it is so satisfying it borders on sensual. In this episode of Please Don't Make a Scene, we review Phantom Thread. In the 1950s London, a renowned dressmaker has his very quiet and measured world thrown upside down when he falls in love. The subtle artistry of Phantom Thread is mirrored in the story itself. The story of a mild-mannered, repressed, but controlling protagonist, or is the antagonist, Reynolds Woodcock, driven by the memory of his mother and the wedding dress he sewed for her. His life is a never-ending chase to find the perfection he once achieved. He lives in a dreamlike state, never having to worry about the real world, which is so confidently handled by his sister. She makes sure he never has to handle anything that might anger or annoy him, going so far as to even ending relationships for him when he grows tired of them. This is where Alma comes in. She seems to, at first glance, just be another adulating admirer of him and his work. They enter into a relationship, she becomes his muse and lover, but when he eventually grows tired of her, thus the pattern repeating itself, she has no intention of giving up the perfect life she has created. <laughs> Phantom Thread is a perfect movie. Everything works in unison. Every detail is meticulously designed to have a purpose. The fairy tale inspired set design envelops the movie in a dreamlike state, coupled with a slow and measured cinematography. It functions to heighten the almost childlike performance of Daniel Day Lewis. The female main characters each embody maternal aspects. His sister, played perfectly by Leslie Manville, is the one taking care of everything. She is the dutiful one making sure Reynolds' world is spotless so as not to disturb his delicate genius. Also making sure nothing ever changes, almost keeping Reynolds in a state of arrested development so as not to lose that delicate genius, essentially never letting him grow up. Alma, played by Vicky Creeps, is the caring one. Being there in his time of need, comforting and lulling him into a sense of safety, but at the same time molding him denying him the freedoms he had before her so as to be able to completely manipulate him into someone she can control by using his weaknesses against his inflated ego, essentially resurrecting and becoming the ghost of his mother. All three of these performances are subtle and meticulous, almost to a fault, sometimes coming close to feeling underperformed. But here is where Johnny Greenwood's music comes in. It accentuates every feeling, every emotion, and it works in perfect tandem with the actors. The only thing left is the script, which at first glance may come off as pretentious, but it is only as the movie comes to an end that you realize how incredibly clever it is. The themes of repeating patterns, haunting memories, and maternal instincts fit so perfectly into the story of a dressmaker. The repetitive nature of each dress being made, each one being a manifestation of the dream of his mother's wedding dress, his never-ending chase for perfection, the manic attention to detail needed to create the perfect dress. Even the title, Phantom Thread, referring not only to the mother that haunts him throughout his entire existence, but to the carpal tunnel-like syndrome that afflicted many seamstresses in Victorian-era England, 
Even when they stopped working and went home, their hands would keep moving in a sewing fashion, almost as if sewing with a phantom thread, their obsessive work haunting them. Is Phantom Thread the best movie I have ever seen? No, I don't think so. But it is a perfect movie, a movie that I cannot find any faults with, and it is a pure joy to experience it.